you can see how to create a backup of your HMI runtime by using the TIA portal. First you click on your HMI device in your project tree. You use right click on this name. Click on the HMI device maintenance and then click on the backup option. Create backup window open and here you click on the start search. Now the TIA portal searching for the devices on the network. When TIA portal find the device, we click on it and then click on the create button. After clicking on the create button, Simatic Pro Save windows open, where you choose the data type of your backup file. For example, only recipes, only user administration, we use complete backup with license. And then you define the folder when you want to save the backup file of this, of this SGMI device and then click on the start backup button. Now you can see the progress of the creating of the backup file of the HMI device. This creating of the backup file take several minutes. I think something about five and ten minutes. All you can do is only wait. Now this section of the creating of the backup file is in the video four times faster than in real. But it's also too long. Okay. Now how we can see the creating of the backup file is done. Now we, now we go to the folder where we save this file. Here is. Now we copy this file and paste it on the USB key. And then this USB key we insert to the HMI device and try to restore this HMI backup of the runtime. Okay, we paste it on the USB key. And after that, we go to restore this backup file on the HMI device. First, what we need to do is the restart the HMI device. This is the old type of the HMI from the Siemens. This is why it takes more time for the restarting. Okay, in Start Center we click on the setting button and click on the service and commissioning button. And here we choose the option restore. 
After you insert the USB to your device, click on the start search to find the USB key. OK, we find it. We go to the next step. Here you start, you can click the start search of the backup file on your USB. Go to the next step and confirm your settings by clicking on the accept button. And now just wait for the restore operation. It also takes several minutes. OK, when restore operation is successful, then the rebooting of the device is the next operation of the HMI device. After rebooting of the system, you just click in the start center on the button start. And then you see if your backup and runtime, if your backup is was good and if run times works fine. OK, we click on the start button. And how we can see runtime works well and this is good and also that's all for this video where you see how to create backup of the HMI runtime and also how to restore this file on your HMI device. Thank you for watching and goodbye.